15th is almost here, and Americans everywhere are rushing to wrap up their taxes. That's right, and today Steve Diggs, our resident life skills and money coach, is with us to share some last-minute tips on how to keep the tax man happy. Oh, uh, is there Steve? any way to make him happy? Well, you know, there are various ways. You, you can use a mask and a gun to raise the money if you wish, but that's not something... <laughs> Listen, I tried that, and the big house was not fun. I was, was going to say... Uh, I'm not recommending not that. No, yeah. no. But the, the answer is this. Yes, there are some things here even up to the very last minute that we can do. And these are just basic things that some of us forget to do. That's what costs us money. Okay, so yeah. it, let's say it's crunch time. Somebody just went out today, bought TurboTax. Now they're going to go home this weekend and say, what do I need to do? Well, right Kelly, here? I'll tell you what. Number one, and the first thing on the top of the list to me is to decide whether or not you should itemize. You know, people tell us that we should itemize, and right. for some people we should. A lot of people who should don't, but some people who do should not be itemized. And for instance, if you've got a uh, if you've got a home loan, for instance, that you paid for over a number of years, you've got very little left on it. Mm -hmm. Most of what you're paying each month is principals, not interest. Okay. In some situations, it can make much better sense to go right ahead and use the standard deduction and not itemize. You can save a lot of money that way, and you need to know about that. See, and that's where I always feel more comfortable going to somebody to have them do it for me. I guess if you have one of these programs, it's probably going to give you the option, right? Well, Turbo Tax is good. Uh, they're, they're all good programs, but I'll be honest with you. Even though I teach this stuff all the time, I don't I don't remember when I have ever done my own taxes. Right. I have somebody else help me because I'm mm -hmm. not a pro. And then the news changes and the requirements change every right. year. Now we've had fewer changes for the 2007 year than, than we have in many of the recent years, but there have been some changes. And I'll tell you a second thing that I would encourage people to do is just check the numbers. Now, of course, you hear that and you think, well, he means check to make sure I'm putting down the right income amounts and deductions and so forth. That is included, but one of the things that the IRS tells us a lot of people forget to do or mix up are putting down the Social Security numbers really? right. Really? Uh, yeah, you yeah. know, if a husband's doing this, he'll probably get his number and his wife's number, but if you've got three or four children, that's where it gets sloppy, and sometimes par parents will forget to put down the numbers or they'll miss a digit, and in a case like that, the service can kick the thing back and then it's like putting toothpaste back in the tube, having to redo everything. So you need <laughs> to know tough, about that. Yeah. All right, here's, here's a big question for you. Okay, we are so close to the deadline. If some of us, I'm not saying I'm one of these people, but of how so. do you buy extra time? Oh. Well, we're going to talk about that. And actually, I, I was going to mention that as our fifth point, but let okay. me just go ahead and, and I'll hop ahead and, and, and we will hold off putting the fifth point up in a minute. Let me just tell you what to do. If you need some extra time, you can legally, in most cases, extend your filing right. as far as October 15. Now, don't misunderstand me, and don't anybody call me and tell me I can't. <laughs> that doesn't mean that you can That's wait to sad. pay your money. Yeah, you, you, you've got to have the money out by April the 15th. And that means you've got to make a good faith uh, estimate, and it has got to be fairly close as to what you owe, and it mm. has to go out the door by April 15. You cannot dodge that. So but you, can, you, you really have to kind of do the numbers oh, yeah. anyway oh, yeah. Yeah. to yeah. get a close estimate. You either have to do the numbers or you have to I mean, do, the, do the form, right. or you have to sit down and really, really carefully guess, and probably the best advice, and as much as I hate to send anybody, especially the government, too much money, <laughs> you probably would be ahead to go ahead and send them even more than what you think you may owe. But okay. let me mention a third thing that we do need to remember, and that's this. We need to pay attention if we're homeowners this year, especially if you have PMI insurance. Now, some of us have it and don't even know it. This is an insurance that we pay those of us who have mortgages that owe, where we where we uh, borrow uh, more than uh, than uh, 80 percent on the home. If there's a 20 percent mm -hmm. uh, or, or less that we pay on it, we're going to be paying premium mortgage insurance, which right. means that our monthly payment has a little of that insurance tied mm -hmm. into it. This is the first year that they're now allowing deductions for that. So if you've got an adjusted gross income of less than about $109,000, check into this. You might save some money on that this year. Your fourth, fourth point was buy the extra time if you can do the extension. Do you have to send, you have to send something to them. You said the money, but do you have to send a form in that says I'm officially oh, yeah. asking for an extension? You, you, or? you need to file, there, there's, there's a form to, to file this with. It's okay. not a complicated thing, but absolutely you have to send in a file and, and file a form asking for the extension and okay. send the check. Don't forget to send Don't the check. Send and the it's got to be good. The check has to be the good. The check is better if it's not made out of rubber. You're okay. exactly right. Be Dave. on time, <laughs> yeah, which number five. is Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. That's exactly right. You know, I've done this before. I have had my tax papers all done, 
throw them in the back seat of the car a few days early, and then on April the 15th, remember, oh my stars, I forgot to send these things right. out. Mm -hmm. We need to pay attention to this, get the things out on time. You know, they, they say that a harp is nothing more than a piano after it's paid its taxes. <laughs> we need to become harps. We need to get the money out, get this deal done. All right, everybody. Steve Diggs, that. if you need more information, you can check out his website. It's Steve Diggs, D I G G S dot com. And he's here with us every Friday. Thanks Great for coming information in. as Catch always. You next week. Thanks, All right, bro. Good, good to see you. See you. All right, well, still